Hi, I'm Simbi Yao. I'm an illustrator. I graduated from University of Lincoln. Today I'm just going to be showing you how to draw objects. Okay, I will now demonstrate how to draw a pirate ship. Um, I've just drawn um, very lightly in pencil a rough guideline of um, a pirate ship, but I will be explaining to you generally how you know to structure it and um, the shape of it and uh, and the components to add to it. Um, I'll start with the base of the ship. Um, generally, when you're looking at a, a pirate ship, there's always kind of a, you know, the, the, there's so many different ones and like you can, you know, characterize it. But, you know, um, I've been looking at them and I've noticed that it's kind of narrow at the front and wider at the back. And uh, so I'll just demonstrate using a thick pen. Okay, um, and um, generally, I'm, you know, that would be the shape of it. You can play around with it, um, you know, if you want it longer or, you know, thicker or anything. Um, just, you know, it's quite organic, really. So, you know, just do whatever makes you feel comfortable. And I'm just gonna add you know, just an extra line. And um, generally, if you were going to draw this, um, I have sectioned the ship with the masts um, in three sections. And there will be the main one in the middle. You just draw a simple line through the center and one on either side. Um, I would get the second one a little bit shorter compared to the main mast and then the third one slightly lower than the second one you know so it'd be you know um, it wouldn't be symmetrical and it looks quite effective um, so if I just draw um, the sails of the uh, mast um, I will um, Draw three of the masts. Uh, sorry, I will draw three of the sails um, on the main mast, and then four on the second, and then two on the third. So it's just kind of uneven, and it makes it kind of, you know, realistic. So it doesn't look symmetrical. When you're drawing the uh, the sails, um, you want it to be angled a little bit, not too much. Starting from the top, where you've marked the sail bars, just make the sails a little bit natural, you know, um, there's no real way or wrong way of doing this, so, you know, just create a curved shape. Um, at the top of the mast, I've decided to draw a flag and a crow's nest, where, you know, the pirate just stands on top. Make the uh, pole join and then go down and join the sails together using the, the line that you've drawn as a guideline. And that'd be the main mast. Uh, to make it really piratey, I'll just uh, draw a general skull in the middle with some, you know, a, the general pirate symbol. Obviously, this is a very fun one. And that's a pirate symbol. Well, you could draw it on the flag or you can draw them on another sail if you want. But um, I'm going to carry on with the other masts. Generally, um, if you want to colour this in, um, I would apply on some watercolour or, or um, coloured pens within the lines and things like that. But um, how I would do it, watercolours on the pencil lines and then draw over the top because, you know, colours uh, bleeding outside the lines is absolutely fine. It makes it look quite nice and effective. I've decided to add a small climbing rope.
I'm now add a bit more detail at the bottom. I've decided to draw um, the captain's cabin at the end because that's where it is placed and just draw some windows. Just uh, make some diamond shaped windows. So I'm just gonna draw these diagonal lines across and then it adds to the effect of this this um, window. So this is just a preference that I've decided to do. I mean, there are different types of windows on a ship and uh, kind of... With a pirate ship, you will always have to have cannons. I've just added them here. Um, I just placed them here. What I have done is drawn uh, a line halfway across the ship so it gives you a guideline of where you'd like to place them. I mean, you know, I'm at the moment using quite curvy lines and um, I'm not using such straight sharp lines to, you know, to, to, look at, to make it look, you know, quite harsh. So, you know, curving the lines a little bit can make it look a bit more fun. But if you're trying to do a serious ship, then um, I guess you can uh, experiment with your lines and stuff. I'm just doing the frames of the windows and, uh, and then the cannons in, in the middle. So just, they're just simple circles and then within a circle. And then uh, I'll, uh, just to finish off, I will uh, draw this line across just to break, break up the ship to add more character. Just adding the finishing touches. And that's how you draw a pirate ship.